Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day and today we are here with a Trolls Guide for Old School RuneScape, a Troll Slayer Guide, one of many Slayer Guides that I'll be doing hopefully going forward, I'm trying to incorporate more of them into the channel. Uh, down below in the description you can see what I've done so far if you want to check out any others and going forward I will keep on adding them. If there's any you'd like to see let me know down below. But this one is a Trolls Guide. I'll have Ice Trolls in here along with regular Trolls. Kind of a mix up depending on if you're higher or lower level. The higher level people should be doing Ice Trolls. Um, and the lower levels probably should be doing regular Trolls. Uh, this is going to be a melee based guide. So I'll be covering like level 60s in melee and up. If you're below that, melee is going to be really, really tough with Trolls. So just bring your best range uh, get up or your best mage get up. And your best spells or arrows and just come here with that. Realistically, you should be using melee here. Anything else ranging or maging that low is just merely necessity. Slayer can get like that sometimes, but here we're gonna be doing melee. And with that said, let's go ahead and get into the guide. So as far as the requirements for Ice Trolls, 70 attack, strength, and defense is the bare minimum. Higher than that is obviously preferable. Uh, you need Barrow's gear when you're coming here because it's just gonna be far too difficult if not. And as far as the only strict requirement that you will need, it will be Fremenic Isles, which, I mean, realistically, you're going to have to do it anyways at some point, so pushing it off isn't going to help you anyways, so, I mean... Ice Trolls can max out at a 21, so obviously pretty high. Defense is going to be important here. Uh, as far as what they're weak to, it is Stab and Crush, so we will focus on Stab weapons for the most part in our setups. And as far as their attack style, they will attack with melee and range. So for the setups here, we have a level 70 setup, an 80 setup, and a 90 setup, which is realistically like a max setup, um, almost. And so for the 70 setup, it kind of has everything labeled there if you need to get more into the weeds with that. But it is a pretty decent setup if you're in the 70s. Uh, maybe it's a bit too high, but if you have a dragon sim or something, you can come with that too. That's perfectly fine. Don't need a whip. Maybe you throw in a glory there instead of a fury. That's fine. The 80s setup is a bit more of just a, a nice high midpoint um, you got the torture as far as your amulet and you also have an abyssal dagger which is not that much more expensive nowadays than the whip so a nice little uh, stabbing upgrade there and for the 90s uh, quite a lot of upgrades from the 80s setup to the 90s but that's just how it is a lot more money goes into that and if you know if you have the means feel free to there are a few changes that you can make the first one is that you can replace the defenders in here with a Netsonaut shield. This will take down the range damage that you take from the ice trolls that use range and throw rocks. The damage it will deal you will drop from a 6 to a 2. And if you feel like you're using too many prayer potions while you're here because you will be praying, then you can switch out your plate body. Um, or your plate body and plate legs if you'd like for um, any of the prayer boosting gear sets below. I personally would recommend just switching out a plate body if you want to switch that for whatever you'd like, but it is up to you. So as far as should you kill ice trolls, I like to always get into this before we go any further. I personally think yes. Um, it's a quick task. If you have a cannon, I definitely, definitely recommend a cannon here. Um, they have a decent amount of drops, not too much, but enough to the point to where if you bring a cannon here, you'll make more money using it to where it kind of negates the cost. It's worth doing. It makes the task so much quicker and it's really good XP, especially if you bring a cannon again. So I really recommend ice trolls to most everyone. It may not seem like a fun task, but it's something that's definitely worth doing. And before we get into the inventory and how to get there, we'll talk about the max rates that you can expect or the rates that maybe it scales down to. Um, if you have max stats and a cannon, you can expect 49k Slayer XP per hour. And if you have a cannon and piety, you can expect 57k Slayer XP per hour. Keep in mind, you'll be getting about 50k range XP per hour with these methods as well. And your attack will vary between, you know, 75 to 90k XP per hour. So scaling down from others, um, we'll assume that if you have 90s of attack and strength and you're using the med setup from earlier, that you'd be getting 45k Slayer XP per hour, while if you had level 80s in attack and strength and the lower setup from earlier, you'd get about 38k XP per hour. So still, really good rates even at some of the more med levels. So now on to my inventory and how to get there. For a spec weapon, I bring a Ceridome and Godsword. Nice for the HP and prayer restoration. Um, also have an anglerfish that I eat before I go out there. I have a boosting potion with the super combat, an herb sack, a couple teleports with the teleports to house and the slayer ring, some cannonballs, a room pouch, and a lunar 
I'll teleport along with some prayer potions and some sharks. I'll grab a cannon along the way as well. Um, the quickest way to get there is by teleporting to the Lunar Isle, and if you don't have a seal of pass on you, you should just be able to talk to them and get kicked out. If you talk to the middle banker, he will just, you know, uh, throw you off the island, and you'll be to where you want to be. If you don't have Lunar Diplomacy done and you can't do that, then you can teleport to the Relica. House Telly, maybe use a Slayer Ring to get over here, or you can just run up from Camelot, I guess, if you have to. Um, but basically, where you're going to want to go is to the northeast a little bit, up to this boat, and take the uh, Yatizo uh, boat over there. Once you get here, just go north. There will be a bank uh, in the first little house. That's where I'll be stopping off at. I eat an anglerfish before I go out there just to get my HP a little higher. Uh, it can't really hurt and then bring my cannon as well. As far as the gear setup, I opted for a proselyte uh, plate body and the nets and not shield. I feel like it's a pretty good combo. Um, then just go ahead and pray melee if you'd like to. You can pray piety as well. Definitely helps out. However, I don't feel like it's that much of a necessity. Looking at the slayer rates earlier, I mean, it doesn't boost it a ton. It's probably worth doing if you can make a lot of money per hour. If you can make over a couple mil in game doing whatever money maker probably worth doing. So, you know, if you can do Zora, Vorkath, of the likes, that type of stuff, then you should probably be using Piety. If not, it's not that uh, big of a deal because at the same time, as you can see, there's uh, guards right here helping you kill these things. There is also the cannon. I mean, there's just so many other ways of damaging them that Piety isn't the main thing that's going to help you. Make sure to boost up though, and you should be good to go. Um, I have the cannon plugin on on Runelight, and that kind of shows me all of the uh, double hit tiles. You can't really control the uh, trolls here as much. Um, typically, you'd want to line them up on these tiles, and then they'd get double hit. But again, can't really control them as much. So. If you like to stay active, you can run around and kill the trolls on the outskirts that maybe aren't getting dragged in. But other than that, it's pretty simple. It, it, as you can see, I haven't really had to eat too much in the short time that I've been here. Like I said before, the drops won't be rolling in, but if you need to, feel free to use the room pouch to high elk. There is a decent amount of uh, kind of noted stuff here that you could be picking up like sharks and whatnot, but ultimately, that's up to you. Now moving on to regular trolls. If you are going to be killing these, they're going to be weak to stab and slash, which allows the dragon scimitar to be a pretty decent uh, option for med levels. Uh, the max hit is 11, so not too bad. Um, and the attack styles that they're going to be using will be uh, melee or range. The range ones are kind of out of the way. You'll get hit by them a little bit on the way there, but realistically it should just be melee, and that's all you'll have to worry about. As far as the setup, here we have a 60s and a level 70s setup um, and you can go ahead and read through all of them if you'd like basically a dragon scimitar and mostly a dragon setup uh, paired with a whip setup with some barrows and whatnot um, again if you would like to use prayer it's actually not too bad here if you have the money to spend on prayer potions because you'll be really far away from a bank and these actually do deal a decent bit of damage if you have the luxury of being able to spend a little money on prayer feel free to uh, pair up any of these sets with those options if you'd like. So should you kill trolls before we get into it? Um, like I said before, if, if you're not a high level, I really don't think so. If you're into the 60s, if you're into the 70s, then they're not too bad. They don't make you much money, but they're decent uh, combat XP and decent Slayer XP, which isn't easy to find at the lower Slayer levels. So some tasks are going to be on the cusp. I think this one is... But personally, I'm not too big of a hater on it, so I do them. As far as the inventory setup and how to get there, I'll be assuming a cannon. Uh, if you don't have one, just fill this with more food or prayer potions, whatever you're doing. Um, a couple super combat potions. Normally, I like the super sets uh, split up, but for here, since it's so far away from a bank and we will be taking damage, I like the super combat potions instead. A teleport to Berthorp is going to be needed with the game's necklace. I have a ring of dueling, which is a teleport to a bank, and then a slayer ring to teleport to uh, Neve, uh, or, you know, bring whichever one to teleport wherever you'd like as far as your slayer master. I have an herb sack as well. Realistically, you shouldn't be getting too many drops here to the point to where you'll need a ton of, you know, kind of useful slayer items to 
free up inventory space, you're not going to have to worry about a full inventory, I wouldn't imagine. But just go ahead and teleport to Berthorp. Once you get here, uh, just run out to the west. We're going to be heading on up to this little spot right here up on the death plateau and right when you run through this little alley uh, that is when you will be ranged so preferably you have a uh, 40 prayer and can pray here that's what I'm going to be doing if not you'll have to take a little bit of damage and eat up but either way should be fine uh, they're not too high of a level but they do deal a decent bit I'll take it off just uh, as an example, obviously I have pretty high defense and good armor, but it wasn't too bad, you know, I made it. And then once you're up here, I mean, there's so many just level 69 mountain trolls hanging around. You got all of them at your disposal. I'm going to lay down a cannon and go to work. The only thing you're going to have to worry about here is just your, your food. I mean, you probably are going to have to bank, you know, once or twice a, a trip depending on what your defense level is and your melees and all that, but... You know, it, it's a pretty easy task, it's easy going. As far as low and med level Slayer, I, I kind of enjoy it. It's not the best, but you grind through it, you get it done. And like I mentioned earlier, if you were watching the Ice Trolls portion of this, uh, this is a cannon plug-in. You can just, you know, turn it on if you're using a rune light, and it'll show you all the uh, double hit spots for the cannon. Um, if you're not using the plug-in, it's, it's pretty easy to understand what's going on here. Uh, the cannon's a 3x3 three three square, and uh, on all the corners, there's like a couple horizontal tiles and uh, vertical tiles that stick out, and that's where they're double hit at. So take advantage of that if you'd like, and yeah, you can just sit up here and go to town. And then for anyone, like I said earlier, that might be ranging or maging, this is a nice little safe spot that you can use to your advantage and shoot out over there, over here, wherever you gotta go. Eventually, once they're unaggressive towards you, it'll be easier to safe spot them, but back here is a pretty easy going spot to start. I was able to find someone using this safe spot that I was talking about. I mean, it's pretty easy. There's a few that spawn in here. You can just block them through that and go to town. This guy's set up probably a, you know, a little more extreme than most, but if you want to do something like that, feel free. And then the final method to kill trolls that uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to add, but it is viable for two types of people. People that care more about combat XP, um, more so than Slayer XP, and also people that want to AFK. There is a way to kill trolls in Nightmare Zone. So basically, if you know how to get to Nightmare Zone, you probably should at this point in the account, but you just come over here. You can create a dream through uh, Dominic Onion, start a hard rumble for 26k, and as far as the gear setup and what I have on my person, just Bring your best stab weapon, preferably. If not stab, that's fine. You can bring something else, but stab is ideal. And then you should be bringing as much strength boosting items as you can. So I had a bunch of gear sets earlier, tons of things of the like. This is basically the max gear setup from earlier. Um, prior, you can't really do it here because there's two different types of attack. There's a troll that does a little bit of ranging, so you can't use prey melee. You have to use absorptions. If you know anything about Nightmare Zone, you can get them through here at a pretty cheap cost. And and uh, yeah, just pair up the absorptions with a, a rock cake or a locator orb. If you know how to do Nightmare Zone, this will be very familiar uh, to you. And I just bring a bunch of super combats as well. Spec weapon, abyssal dagger, or granite maul, uh, whichever one's up your alley. And as far as the five that I have in this Nightmare Zone, I have Count Drainwort. That's a filler. That is just basically no defense, very easy to kill. I have uh, the Troll Dad, which is a troll. I have Arg, which is a troll, and the Ice Troll King as well. So three trolls, and then the Bouncer is also a filler as well with very low defense. So you can start it up with that. Um, if you have a Locator Orb from Dragon Slayer 2, use that to heal down, or I guess, you know, damage down. And the Dwarven Rock Cake is for... Uh, the lower levels you can get from a recipe for disaster it's a little bit slower of course um, but either way get down to one hp and then just drink a ton of absorptions uh, i would recommend standing in a corner because the troll dad uh, will hit you backwards so if you're out in the middle you'll kind of always have to run back while if you're in the corner you'll just be stood in the same spot so just stand down here drink up wait for them all to come and i mean it's a nightmare zone it's afk it's easy xp honestly something i might do on my iron man every now and then when I'm not feeling up to, you know, the real world grind of the <laughs> low level trolls, but really a good method if you have those trolls unlocked through Nightmare Zone and through previous questing. 
And just like that, got a couple trolls right here and a bouncer as well, uh, chilling down near the corner. Um, you might get dragged out every now and then by the ranger, but that's okay. Really easy way to do your trolls task if you're looking to do it this way. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. Anything you want to tell me, let me know in a comment down below. And on top of that, if you guys want to see more videos like this as soon as they go live, make sure to subscribe. And with that said, hopefully you guys have a wonderful day and uh, peace. Also Twitch and Twitter in the description below.